let's go ahead and now understand patch formats and patch types. Oracle categorizes the patch as formats but uh, I would say they are nothing but patch types. So there are several categories that are there like what I've done out here is I've just drawn a relationship between them. Now I'm not gonna explain all of these at this point we need to understand few more things and then we'll come back to this slide and then I will explain you the relationship between each of these patches that I have described out here okay so to understand this what we need to first understand is something like a relationship between a release a point release and a code line okay it's not technical I and mean, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible so I'm, I'm sure you would know that the concept of releases right like release 12.0 release 12.1 release 12.2 right now each of these releases is associated with something called as a code line Oracle associate release and designate each release with a code line letter okay from release 12.0 onwards Oracle has named each of the code line as A, B or C okay so for 12.0 the code line is A for 12.1 the code line is B for 12.2 the code line is C now you might ask me why do we really need a code line for a code line is basically used in the naming conventions of the patches okay let me take you to one place I've downloaded a couple of patches for demonstration to show you so as you could see out here each of these patches in the bottom out here you can see a letter out here can you see that B B B so what are these B stands for that B stands for if you go back to that presentation it stands for release 12.1 that's what it is and within that B you will have you know something called as point releases now before we go on to the point release I will show you another example so this patches I've shown you from 12.1 onwards because they've got the letter B inside okay now going by the same explanation all the patches that belongs to release 12.0 will have the letter A inside them I've downloaded a couple of them as well so let let's go there and I will show you there a look at this these ones now as you could see these patches for instance this one it's got A out here did you see that so this patch actually belongs to release 12.0 similarly there is another patch that's also release 12.0 and this patch has got a B inside that so this is at least 12.1 so that's a like a hard and fast rule to quickly identify what that patch release is okay now coming back to this I'm sure you now understand what's the relationship between a release and a code line basically they are synonyms but Oracle uses the code line letter to simply name a patch alright now the second level is something called as a point release for instance out here say in 12.1 you've got something called point releases 12.1.1 12.1.2 or 12.1.3 and so on now each of these point release will actually contain a consolidated amount of patches in them for all the products okay and we will understand that a little while later but at the moment what you need to understand is the relationship between these three things one is a release the code line and the third one is a point release fine now let's go back to that presentation what I just shown you about the different types of patches okay now let's visit one by one all of them so what's the individual bug fix as the name suggests an individual bug fix uh, you get a patch for fixing a specific bug okay 
you know for example let's say if someone is entering a purchase order and he gets some kind of an error while entering say form error and upon investigation it's found that it's nothing to do with the customization but it's actually to do with the product itself something is missing or some value is not being returned as it should have been so what happens is that is something called as a bug and it goes back to Oracle support and they release a fix for that in the form of a patch and that patch holds good only for one bug okay that's the reason it's called as individual bug fix all right the second type of patch is which there is a direct relationship between individual bug and product family RUP so the second type is a product family RUP okay RUP stands for release update pack all right now if a release update pack for a product family is a combination of several patches for that product family for instance Oracle has released 10 patches for say financials in the month of September let's say as an example now when Oracle combines all these patches and release them at one pack that's what he called it as a product family pack RUP for financials okay and I've given an example in terms of the naming convention so as you could see out here you've got a patch that's got a name then it's got the release okay release 12 indeed it's release 12 but within release 12 how to identify the code level that is B okay so it is what what which one it is it is release 12.1 is it not that's what we we understood here so code level B is release nothing but release 12.1 well, that's what is product family pack so you will have separate product family pack for every product family so one product family pack for financials which will contain a bunch of patches for financials one product family pack for procurement containing a bunch of patches from procurement and so on okay the next one is nothing but release update pack okay again it's got a direct relationship between the product family pack okay so what's a release update pack a release update pack contains the bundles from all the product family RUPs so the bundle means what as a, in the previous example I've I've given you example of say product family pack for financial product family pack for procurement or manufacturing or HRMS all that when you combine it together for a specific point point release and that's what you call it as release update pack okay so going back to this example if you were to up upgrade from release 12.1.1 .1 to release 12.1.2 then you should apply a patch what you call as release update pack for upgrading from 12.1.1 to 12.1.2 okay so a release update pack holds good for a point release to upgrade from one point to a higher point okay so that's what is nothing but release upgrade update pack and again the next one is called as a pre upgrade patch and finally consolidated upgrade patch now what's the difference between the uh, these ones again there is a direct relationship between this a pre upgrade patch and a consolidated patch are quite linked to each other so let's see in the next slide now before I cover this part let's cover the this part consolidated upgrade patch is something you up you if you have to upgrade between releases okay as you will recall what I just explained to you this one uh, holds good only for point releases if you have to upgrade between point releases say 12.1.1 .1 to 12.1.2 or 12.1.3 but if you have to upgrade from one release to another release for instance from 12.0 to 12.1 .1, from 12.1 .1 to 12.2 that's where you apply something called as consolidated upgrade patch so in other words a consolidated upgrade patch 
will contain the release update pack for all the releases okay or all the point releases I should say to be precisely so if you go back to this slide a consolidated upgrade patch for upgrading to release 12.2 will contain all the release update pack from all these point releases okay the previous point releases then sometimes what happens is as a prerequisite of applying a consolidated upgrade patch oracle release something called as a pre-upgrade patch okay sometimes that's necessary or sometimes you know these patches are released in the interim that introduces some small functionality or you know makes the basis for upgrade to a higher release so that's what is called as pre-upgrade patch but pre-upgrade patches are not always released they are released only when it is required on purely on a need by basis okay so I'm sure by this time you understood what are the different kind of patches that are there now here I have also written something called as a roll-up patch a roll-up patch is synonymously used with something called as the product family patch okay I've just written it so that people don't get confused that what's the difference between product family RUP and roll-up patch they are pretty much same okay synonyms okay sometimes Oracle uses roll-up patches for monthly releases a monthly product family RUP is also called as roll-up patch monthly release for a specific month okay now a quick recap because it's a little confusing an individual bug fix you understood is fixing a specific bug and a patch is released for that and then a number of individual bugs belonging to a specific product family is nothing but what you call as a product family RUP so you will have separate product family RUP for financials for, for family or procurement family or manufacturing or HRMS and so on okay then combine product family packs from all the product family for a specific point release goes into release update pack okay then combined release update packs from all the point releases belonging to a specific release goes into a consolidated upgrade patch okay now a consolidated upgrade patch not only have all the patches from the point releases but it sometimes it also include additional functionalities and enhancements all right so that's in a nutshell between different types of patches and the relationship between them